everybody, welcome to the Waldock Way. I'm Jessica, and this is going to be one part of an entire week-long series of our second grade homeschool curriculum picks. So if you stick around, you're gonna see our math, language arts, science, and geography, and history, and electives, and basically everything that I have chosen and put together for a awesome second grade homeschool year. But I wanted to make sure that this disclaimer was in every video, so you're gonna see this every day, and that is that we will not be using everything that you see from start to finish, lesson by lesson, exactly how it's written. So we tend to choose things that work for us, where we need the help, where we want the help. Um, if it's language arts and it's a concept she knows, I am fine skipping those lessons. If it's science and it's something she's not interested in, I am fine skipping that. Um, I will link up here a video about how I set homeschool goals for the year so that you can see that. But I just want you guys to know that what you see is what I've acquired. So the things I think we're going to enjoy for second grade and the things that I've purchased or made to add to our year. It's not necessarily everything we're going to do step by step exactly how it's written. If you want a more real time view of what we're doing, make sure you're following me on Instagram and Facebook because that is pretty much where I post the most real time view of our homeschool. And make sure you're subscribed and that you hit that little bell notification icon so that you're notified every day when a new curriculum pick goes up this week. So today's subject is science. Our main science will be coming from Waldox Wizards and Wands. We will be doing an alchemy study, which will be rocks, gems, and minerals, an astronomy study. We will be doing an herbology study, so botany. We'll be doing a magical creature study, so some zoology, and then we'll be doing a potion study, which will be some chemistry and all of our hands-on wizarding science experiments. So that will be the bulk of our science from Waldock Wizards and Wands. We will also be getting a ton of science from Passport to More Adventures. There are concepts in there that are animal and inventors and sound, um, you know, different types of weather and biomes and reptiles and winter and summer and seasons and weather. So all of that is different concepts that we will be learning with our Passport to More Adventures. And then because we will not be covering every science topic um, that a second grader is supposed to know, I did pick up the Abeka Enjoying God's World Science Reader. I didn't get anything else except the reader because this was an age-appropriate introduction to all of the different concepts of science, even some of the ones that maybe we haven't covered as in-depth yet. So I figured we could read through this together, or she could read through it. It could be in our morning basket, or um, our bedtime basket, or just as topics you know came up that she wanted to know more about, I would have it on hand for us to go through it. So not um, anything other than supplemental, but we have the Enjoying God's World, a Becca Science Reader. And then for some of the same reasons that we had the Abeka Science Reader, I have the Skill Sharpener Science Grade 2. And this covers vocabulary, science facts, projects, and activities. So it has some different units, and at the end of each unit, there's a hands-on activity. So if she's super interested in a topic and there's a unit in here, we will pull that out and you know go through that topic. If um, some of this lines up with some of our other stuff, we'll use those units as supplemental. If she just needs something more independent, if it's a week when I'm sick or I'm super busy, then this will be that for her as well. We also have and love Sassafras Science Adventures. Now we did Sassafras Science Zoology in kindergarten, um, and I probably should not have done the side out log with her in kindergarten because it was a lot of writing and it turned her off to the log book 100%. So, um, even though she loves the stories, she's not thrilled with the idea of doing science um, completely with Sassafras because, well, I screwed up as a homeschool mom, but she loves the stories. So, last year we read through all five of these as read alouds. We normally read them at bedtime. I also have them on audio. So, if she wants stories longer, she can listen to these, um, these stories in the series. So we will be reading them again this year, and then when Volume 6 comes out, which is Astronomy, I will buy that one too because it will go along with our Waldock Wizards and Wands. So we'll be reading through Zoology, Anatomy, Botany, 
earth science, geology, and astronomy this year as well for Sassafras Science Adventure. So like I said, these are just read alouds for us. At the Another part of our science is subscription letters. So this is one of these subscription letters that we receive, which is writings from the wild. And you get a letter every month that is about a different animal. So this will be one of the things that we do as we will be opening, you know, our letter and learning more about whatever, whatever animal it is about for that month. Then we also have the what your second grader needs to know again, because there is a science section back here that's read aloud based as well. So things like life cycles, the water cycle, the human body. Um, there's also a section on insects, simple machines. There's just all kinds of different things within here for science. So um, this will either be in our morning basket or our bedtime basket, or even just as topics arise, we'll read out of here because I know that this is age appropriate for a second grader and it won't go over her head. Some of the last um, things that I have for science are a few kits that I bought because experiments are not my thing. Um, they're messy and they stress me out, but she loves them. So having kits like this on hand where the majority of the stuff is already there, ready to go, makes it more um, convenient for me and increases the likelihood that I will actually do them. So I got her the My First Mind Blowing Science as well as the Magic Science for Wizards Only. And then I also bought her, I put them in Ziploc bags because the boxes took up so much room, but I also bought her um, six of the Magic School Bus um, sets. So this is the World of Germs. I bought the ones that went along with um, the Zoe and Sassafras books. So like this is Germs for the last one. Or ones that tied in to our um, Wallach Wizards and Wands or Passport to Adventures. Because I figured this would make it easy for me to do science experiments. So that is what I have for science. Let me know in the comments down below what you're using for science this school year.